Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. Today's video will be a clean and decorate with me for my daughters Aubrey and Bianca's birthday photo shoot. Aubrey just turned 11 July 2nd and Bianca turned 5 July 6th. We wanted to celebrate the girls this year by not only having a small birthday party, but by also having their pictures taken. In this video, you'll get to see all of that. We will also be doing some baking and cake decorating, and at the end of the video, you'll get to see the girls during their photo shoot. So if you're ready, let's get started. Here I am doing all of the dishes and then I'm going to wipe down all of the countertops to get ready to start baking. tried to film this like 10 times but I keep accidentally <laughs> pressing stop with my finger my sister's been wanting Taco Bell all day she's oh, craving it day. so we're here now yes. <laughs> Bianca what are you getting Meat taco. <laughs> Max say hi. hi he's so cute <laughs> And can I also have a cheesy gordita crunch with the Doritos Loco Taco? And then it's supposed to be six chalupas. Oh, six chalupas. Yep, and then that's it. <laughs> Alright, and what kind of salsa to order, honey? Um, can we have hot, hot and mild and mild. Alright, $45.95, honey, drive for it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now that we are done eating, I am going to head into the kitchen and start baking. Today I am going to make two cakes, one chocolate for Aubrey and one vanilla for Bianca. It's 
Now that I'm done preparing the cake batter, I am going to now start the fudge in a separate bowl. Once I have all of that combined, I am going to add little drops into the cake pan and swirl it all together. Now that that is combined, I am going to see how long it needs to go in the oven, set that aside, and now I am going to start the vanilla cake. Now that we are done preparing the vanilla cake, I am going to then put them both in the oven and we are going to head into the dining room and start inflating some balloons. All right, so here's a close up of the dining room. You can see some of these balloons have deflated because we have literally had this thing up for maybe three weeks trying to get this photo shoot, but it has either been cloudy or it has rained or something has happened to where um, the lighting just wasn't good and with this black wall we couldn't really um, brighten the photos so we had to honestly just wait for a day it's kind of like a tea party themed photo shoot I have the cakes in the oven now um, we lost a couple of the big balloons so now I gotta blow up some of the smaller and fill it in but so far this is what we have
Now that the balloons are inflated, I am going to quickly vacuum my dining room floor using my Dyson vacuum cleaner. I absolutely love this vacuum. I talked about it in my first video. When I am done vacuuming, I am then going to use my Bona hardwood floor cleaner to mop. Now that we are done mopping, I'm back in the kitchen. The cakes have cooled and I have already prepared a homemade buttercream frosting. I have already crumb coated the cake and if you aren't familiar with what that phrase means, a crumb coat is a thin layer of icing applied to seal the layers of the cake. This is done before you start your decorative frosting. Then I'm going to add a little bit of pale pink to the frosting. I'm going to mix well and start piping this on. We are got time and we're wasted. Got no plans for the night. I love how you look at me. Feeling low, nothing to lose. Do we stay here tonight? Cause I don't wanna go. I know the tension's gone now, and that you won't stay here. Keep looking back, don't wanna forget ya. Yeah, I wanna do it all again. So I keep pushing it wide, hoping you'll survive my side, we can't get lost in time. Since I knew I wanted to add more color to this cake, but I didn't want to spend a lot of time mixing up different colors for frosting, I decided I was going to add these little chocolate hard candies in the same colors that match the balloons in the dining room. Next, I'm going to start adding some edible glitter. Edible glitter, in my opinion, is what always finishes the cake. It just gives it so much sparkle, and every little girl absolutely loves it. I know the tension's gone now, and that you won't come back. Keep looking back, don't want to forget you. Now the last step is the number 11 candles, so I know which cake is Aubrey's and which one is Bianca's. Here's a close-up of the glitter so you can see how much sparkle it actually adds to the cake. I think it turned out so cute. Okay guys, you made it to the end of the video. Here is some footage of the girls having their tea party photo shoot. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. I hope it gave you some ideas for decorating, maybe even some ideas for cake decorating. And if you liked it, please give the video a thumbs up. Please also like and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you later guys. Bye.